The new Mazda 6 will also continue to be available with a naturally aspirated 2.5-liter ski active G engine. However, it gains new cylinder deactivation tech for this generation, able to drop down to two-cylinder operation when coasting at moderate speeds. I'm told that the technology adds about 1 mpg across the board, relative to the current model's 30 mpg combined rating. I don't think I've ever seen a four-banger pull this trick off before. It'll be interesting to see it in action. Mazda has just unveiled the revised 2018 Mazda 6 sedan at the 2017 LA Auto Show. Outside, the 6 hasn't changed all that much. It gets a bit of a facelift with a new headlamp treatment and revised grille, both meant to evoke the Mazda Premium classing up of its newest vehicles. And it's still redundantly named. I roll my eyes every time I have to type Mazda Mazda 6, but I digress. The biggest changes, however, are on the inside where you'll find a new turbocharged engine and an overhauled cabin said to be more comfortable. In the cabin, the seats have been upgraded to the Mazda's new next-generation buckets with a redesigned S-shape said to improve spinal alignment and driving comfort. The rest of the cabin gets an overhaul with improved and more premium materials, textures and construction. The tech is mostly still the simple, yet effective, Mazda Connect infotainment system, only now it features a larger 8-inch display with improved color rendering. And ahead of the driver is a new 7-inch information display in the instrument cluster. Driver aid technology also receives enhancements in the form of an available 360-degree view camera system that enhances safety when parking and an available full-speed Mazda radar cruise control system that now operates in stop-and-go traffic. Expect the new Mazda 6 to hit the road in the spring of 2018, most likely with a 2018 model year designation. Pricing and final fuel economy estimates should be flashed out by then.